Today, I'm gonna go thrifting and I want you to come along, so let's get to it. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad that you decided to join us. We love to thrift shop, we love to repurpose and make over things, and then we love to share those projects and all that inspiration with you. Wow, there were so many amazing fabrics in that place, I could not get over it. Now that king size quilt, you never see king size. You see queen, you see full a lot, and twin, but king, that's rare. So I opened it up, I didn't, wasn't able to show you, but I got my carts and I opened the whole thing up and made sure I, I didn't see any stains. I could have missed one, but before it comes into my house, I am taking it straight to the laundromat. We just had a new one open. So if I can, I'll take you along with that. Now I have at least one more stop today and then we might pick up where we left off tomorrow. Let's see what the next stop brings. So the other place that I wanted to go was this spot right here. You may remember that I, I bought some really adorable little blue oval dishes. So cute. I'm going to put a little video so that you can remember, but this is where I got them. So I'm about 40 minutes from my house. This was a little bit of a trek. I didn't know their hours. I just kind of gambled. And when I got down here, their hours, their store hours are 10 to 2 and it is 3.15. So I totally missed it. It's only about a quarter of a mile from the Goodwill that I was just at. We'll have to trek down here another day because they had ironstone pieces in here for 25 cents a piece. I, 
I'm not even kidding. There were iron stone pieces for 25 cents. So you know that we are going to be coming back down here another day. So it's the next day. This place wasn't open yesterday and I thought, oh my gosh, this is gonna drive me crazy till I get myself back down here. So that's what I did this morning. I got myself back down here. Let's go inside. It's packed. The, the parking lot, I can't really show you all the cars, but the parking lot is packed. I'm going in. while I was in there, we had a downpour of rain. I didn't even know what was going on until I decided to step out and it was pouring. So I had to make the mad dash. I couldn't film much in there at all. I just kept picking up stuff and before I knew it, my hands were so full and they were out of carts. So I had to just carry the stuff around. That's kind of, that's kind of the nature of this kind of, you know, cause you go thrifting and sometimes they don't have carts and your arms get filled up and there you go. I'm gonna look for another place. I'm gonna grab a little lunch. It's one o'clock. So I'm gonna grab some lunch in the little town that I'm in. And um, we'll see if we go to another place. I might have to go to the other side of our state. Now, Delaware is tiny. I have said it before here, you can travel from the north to the south end of our state in about an hour and a half. It's a little tiny state. Look it up on the map. I'll try to put a little picture 
of the United States with our little speck of Delaware. This is the first state, by the way, um, but I'll put a little map here so you can see where we are and how little Delaware is in comparison to other states. In fact, I would say in some some cities are bigger than our whole state. No kidding. Anyway, what am I doing? I might travel to the other side of the state. There is a Goodwill over there that I like to visit. So we'll see. Let me let me see how filled up with lunch I can get and kind of re-energized and we'll go from there. All right, so I did wind up coming back to my little hometown and I'm at the laundromat because I did not take those big bedspreads to the laundromat yesterday and they're still in the back of my truck. So I'm gonna let you see the name of this place. It's brand new, it's just opened a month ago. It's right down the road from where I live. It's in Milford, Delaware, and I'll include the information down below. If you go thrifting and you find these kind of really large pieces like this king size bedspread and the twin size is not so big but that king size there's just no way I can get that thing washed at my house and my washing machine so the thing to do is to find a really good reputable laundromat and this one's only a month old but I'm 
they look pretty good. Like I talked to the fella and he kind of explained the system. They have a really large machine. It's well lit. It's open. It's clean looking. Find one in your local area so that you know you always have a place to take bedspreads like this that you can get laundered and not mess up your machine because you're pr probably your home machine can't handle such big pieces. Whoops. So let me show you. I'm back from thrifting. Actually, it's a couple of days later. I just kind of piled everything into the house and now I wanna show you each individual item that I got while I was out thrifting over those two days. But when I got home and unloaded all my stuff, I found a whole bunch of other stuff that I completely forgot that I had thrifted a few days prior with one of my daughters. So I'm going to throw in a couple of bonus pieces that I found while out thrifting there. First up are these two bedspreads. Now look at this king size bed can, bedspread, can you believe it? I could hardly believe it because you just cannot find king size anything when you're out thrifting. It just is not something you come across often. You often see queen, you often see twin, you often see a double size, but rarely do you ever see king size, especially a bedspread as beautiful as this one. Here it is on our bed. I'm loving the look of it. I've been enjoying it all weekend long. Ugh, I just can't believe I got this for $13.99 plus the cost of having it cleaned at that laundromat. And then of course there was this twin size coverlet. It's kind of like one of those matte lasse covers. It's solid white. It's a beautiful piece. I don't have a twin size bed and I'm not going to save it for that use, but for $7, I just got a nice heavy duty piece of fabric, quilted fabric that I can use on upholstery projects or possibly on covering my office chair. Yep. I'm thinking about making a slip cover for my office chair or pillow covers. Who knows what I'll come up with. And then there's this gorgeous curtain panel. There was only one, but that's okay. It's a large piece of fabric. I think I paid two or three dollars for it. I'll be able to use this to make pillow covers for our living room or maybe throw pillows in one of our guest bedrooms or our bedroom. I don't know. But for two or three dollars, you could not beat the beautiful fabric that I got. So then there was this little glass lid. Uh, it didn't come with the little candy dish. It was probably the lid off of a candy dish. That's okay. Because when I see this, I thought, oh, couldn't that be a cute little pumpkin? I know that sounds crazy. We're going to, we're going to do this in a live. Actually, I might've already posted that video. We're going to paint this. So if I've already shown it, I'll link that video and you can go back and watch how to make a lid, a glass lid like this into an adorable little pumpkin. This little urn. It's heavy. It's like a ceramic. It's already the perfect color. I love it. I'm trying to get a little collection of these urns. I really like the look of them. So I might not do anything with it right away, but I will stick it away for future projects. So you remember that I had to go back to that one store because they were closed. Well, I'm so glad that I went back because I found this brass lamp. Look at this. It's super heavy. I wish you could feel it. It's really heavy. I'm going to show you the up close design here in a minute. And it was only $3. And then I found a lampshade close by and it was $1. So I got this brass lamp and shade, a total of $4 to bring back some of the luster. I'm going to keep some of that patina, but I want to bring out some of the luster. I already tested it. It works. And I have a new lamp for four bucks. Look at that. Look, isn't that perfect? Look, I love it. They don't look plastic when you look at them. I'm not sure how the camera's picking them up, but they don't look plastic. I have a plan for these for a Christmas project. So stay tuned. I paid $2 for all of these really pretty Christmas balls in the brass and silver colors that I love. 
And then I bought this fork. I know that seems crazy. One fork. I'm slowly collecting silver to possibly replace our, our eating utensils in the kitchen. Currently I have stainless steel. It's a beautiful set, but I just thought it would be cool to have mismatched, <laughs> mismatched pieces of real silver. And in the meantime, I use these in my kitchen all the time. You know, I'm a fan of little stacks of dishes. I don't know why, but I just think that's really artistic, but I'm branching out a little bit. Now these in particular, two things about these. Number one, the way that I'm branching out is that they have some color to them. They have a really lovely green, I'm liking that. And you might notice the shape of this dish. See that, that's a bone dish. Basically what would happen is this would sit up on the left-hand side, I think on the left-hand side of a place setting of a round plate. So it would curve, that's why you have this curve because it would kind of nestle beside that plate. And that's where you would put your chicken bones. <laughs> after eating dinner. I know that seems crazy. They're really pretty. I want to come up with a pretty way to display these, not just stack them. Although the stack is really pretty, I paid 50 cents a piece. So that's one, two, three dollars for these really pretty bone dishes. Ironstone, they are semi porcelain. Let's get that name in here. And I hope, I hope it's focusing. I think I'm having trouble with the focusing. Anyway, there's the name of the, of the semi porcelain ironstone bone dishes that look beautiful just as a stack, or let's see if I can come up with a pretty way to display these and more Christmas balls. Now these are glass. They're definitely glass. They're vintage. And you can tell because you can get nine glass ornaments for $3.97, that's so funny. I paid $2 a box, I got three boxes of them. I'm really happy with the colors. Look how pretty and soft these colors are. Now one of them, one of them did have a broken one inside. That's how I knew they were genuine glass. Where is it, right here. It's definitely broken glass. I'm going to take that out and get rid of that one. But as I opened it up, well let me just show you one up close, they're so pretty. Here's one. It almost looks like ironstone, doesn't it? With the coloring, it's so pretty. I know you've got a little bit of a glare there, so sorry about that. And then the other color that came are these, and they kind of look like mercury glass. They're so pretty. I'm loving these. These are gonna be so nice on the Christmas tree this year. I love the colors together. That's just the look that I love for our home. While I was at that store, I came across this adorable French horn. Now just ignore the bright red ribbon. We're gonna get rid of that. It was only $2, there we go, $2, so that's a deal. The brass isn't the prettiest, but it, cause it's a little bit on the chintzy side, but one of my daughters showed me a great way to make over this kind of brass to make it look older and better and richer. So we're going to do that in a future makeover video. So, and then remember I said that my other daughter and I went thrifting and I completely forgot to record it. I had my, my little grandson with me. Anyway, I didn't record that day, but I wanted to show you the things that we came across. She came across a bunch of stuff. In fact, I'll pop in a little picture here and most of what you see that we're washing is hers. She got lots of milk glass. She got vintage, um, what are they called? They are vintage milk glass shades that hang perfectly over her kitchen island. They're so pretty. She loves milk glass and she went home with all sorts of milk glass you can see in the image here. I got another oval frame. I love oval frames. I'm not crazy about the design on the inside. That's just kind of a little, I'm not crazy about the the design on the inside, but I love the frame. I'm going to do with something with that. And I also got one of these little mini frames. I love these oval frames, even if you leave them empty. I just really love how they look. And it's already a pretty finish on it. So I don't think I'm going to have to do much of anything to this finish. I've been collecting chamber pot lids. And if you've been here for a while, you know I've been slowly collecting them. I think I have five or six or seven of them for a project coming as soon as I have enough and I might have enough by now. This little dish is not ironstone, but it's so cute. I think I paid 50 cents for it and I just thought it was a cute little tray. It's some kind of a, 
I don't know why they would have holes like this because when I went to wash it, the water got in there. It took forever to dry. But anyway, it's a cute little dish. It's like a little mini tray. I couldn't resist it when I saw it. I found this sweet little votive holder. It's like amber glass. It's so pretty. It holds a little votive. I've already lit it. You can see inside there but it glows really pretty at night. I have it sitting in our living room on that little end table that we just made over, that little drum table. Perfect little touch for fall. And then I found another footstool. What is wrong with me? I love footstools. They're such an easy project to do. I love the legs on this one, nice and curved. It is pretty dirty. You can see underneath and on the top, it's pretty rough. This is like a faux leather. That's all going to come off. We're gonna make this over in a little video. In fact, I might have already made this over in my live last week. So if I did, I will post that video. Sorry guys, I cannot keep up with when I'm posting what. So there's that. I hope that you enjoyed going thrift shopping with me and finding all these vintage and antique kind of goodies that we can make over and clean up and decorate our homes on a budget with. I hope that it inspires you to go out thrift shopping and find some goodies for your own home. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, subscribe. I don't want you to miss the makeovers that are coming with many of these projects, plus the inspiration for all the Christmas decorating that is on its way. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.